Hi guys, Chris here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about all the books that I hope to get to in September. In the month of September, I will be participating in two readathons. The first is a Touch of Whimsy Adventures Through Wonderland readathon, which is being hosted by Lexi, Kaylin, Jade, and Gavin. And the second is Becca's Bookopolathon, which is being hosted by Becca. All their announcement videos will be linked in the description below. We'll start with Becca's Bookopolathon. This is based on Becca's TBR game of Bookopoly. She made a board for all of us so that we could play along this month. I decided to do six rolls. If you get a double, then you have to roll again. For chance cards, you use books on your TBR. I chose a mix of books that I want to read in the near future and books that I didn't necessarily want to read right now for one reason or another. For your community shelf cards, you just pick some random prompts, which I did, and if I get community shelf, I guess we'll see what they are. As I don't have a working printer right now, I ended up using my computer screen to house the board, a sticky note as my pawn, and as I couldn't find any dice, I used an online dice roller on my phone. Here's roll number one. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Chance. Okay, so first up is The Shadowland by Elizabeth... Elizabeth Kostova. So as you saw in roll one, I pulled a chance card and I drew The Shadowland by Elizabeth Kostova. This was a book that I wasn't looking forward to reading right now as I haven't really been in the mood for historical fiction and it's a bit of a chunker at almost 500 pages and isn't necessarily the book I would want to have to read during a readathon. Next. Eight and a double, so I'm going to have to add in a roll. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Poll pick. So I will be putting a poll up on my Twitter. I'm not sure what books I'm going to put in it yet, but I guess we'll find out together what I'm going to read. As you can see, the winner of the poll pick was These Witches Don't Burn, so I will be reading that in the month of September. Next. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sequel. Next up, I landed on Sequel. For this, I am choosing to read The Savage Dawn by Melissa Gray. It is the third book in the Girl at Midnight trilogy, and this gives me a really good excuse to finish that series out. Roll number four. Double twos, which means I get to have an extra roll. So one, two, fire on the cover. My fourth roll was fire on the cover, and I had one book that had fire on the cover on my physical TBR, and that was A Shadow, Bright and Burning by Jessica Clueless. Okay, roll five. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Set in the Future. Next up was Set in the Future. I didn't have any books on my physical TBR that I really wanted to read right now that were set in the future. So I checked the rest of my want to read shelf and came up with Aurora Rising. This book is set in the year 2380, so it definitely fulfills set in the future and I have requested it from my library. So hopefully it will get here this month. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lowest rated on my TBR. What was supposed to be my last roll, roll number six, saw me land on lowest rated. The lowest rated on my TBR is If I Could Tell You by Elizabeth Wilhide. Okay, roll number seven for my first double. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
light cover. On the first of my bonus rolls, I landed on light cover. The lightest cover I could find on my physical TBR is Mask of Shadows by Lindsay Miller. And what I'm hoping is going to be my last roll. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. OYA. For my last roll, I landed on Young Adult, and I decided to go with The Lost Hero by Rick Riordan. I've really enjoyed the Percy Jackson series by him, and I believe this is set in the same world, but takes place after the events in the Percy Jackson series, so I thought this would be a good choice for a young adult novel. It seems like Becca's Bookopoly has given me a nice mixture of books, so hopefully I can get to all of them in the month of September. Now on to A Touch of Whimsy's Adventures Through Wonderland's prompts. Prompt number one is Down the Rabbit Hole, Choose a Book Set in Another World. For this, I'm going to read The Golden Door by Emily Rhoda. In this book, we follow Rye, who lives in the city of Weld. Weld is being attacked by creatures from outside the city, and so Rye decides to leave the city but not to go after the creatures attacking the city, but to find out what has happened to his brothers who have previously left the city and never returned. Prompt number two is Flower Garden. Read an aesthetically pleasing book. There were many options I could have chosen for this as middle grade novels tend to be extremely aesthetically pleasing. But in the end, I decided to go with The Unicorn Quest by Camilla Benko. In this book, we follow Claire, whose life is just getting back to normal after her sister Sophie had recovered from a mysterious illness the year before. One day, the girls find a strange ladder that brings them to a magical land that is in turmoil. Scared, they flee for home. However, shortly after they return, Sophie goes missing and Claire has no choice but to return to the magical land to try to find her sister. Prompt number three is eat me, drink me, make yourself a cozy reading snack. For this, I will likely have a cup of cocoa and I will probably pair it with the next prompt, which is the white rabbit's house. Pick up a book for a cozy night in. For this, I chose green glass house by Kate Milford. The reason I chose this book for this prompt is because it is set in Christmas time. And I know at Christmas time, that I like to have cozy nights in. In this book, we'll follow Milo, who lives at a smuggler's inn and is looking forward to a relaxing holiday. However, visitors keep showing up at the inn, all who seem to have strange and mysterious ties to the inn itself. Objects start to go missing, and when tempers flare, Milo and the cook's daughter, Medi, must then work together to figure out what is going on. The next prompt is The Queen's Palace. Pick a book you think you'll love. For this prompt, I picked The Land of Roar by Jenny McLaughlin. This book follows Arthur and Rose, who realized that a land they had made up as children might not be as made up as they thought it was after their grandfather is taken away. The villain of this land has haunted their nightmares for years. However, they must go after their grandfather and save him. So they return to this land that they thought was made up and once there, not only do they realize that they have to rescue their grandfather, but they come across people who also need their help. The reason I chose this book for this prompt is because as a kid, I had a very active imagination and I made up all sorts of things. So I think it would be really cool to find out that something I had made up was actually real. So I think I might really love this book and really connect with the characters. The next prompt is Cheshire Cat. Pick a strange and mysterious book. For this prompt, I picked The Eureka Key by Sarah L. Thompson. In this book, we follow Sam, a puzzle master, and Martina, a history whiz, as they travel across the United States in a trip they won. While there, they meet Theo, a descendant of George Washington. Together, they realize this is more than just a trip, and set out to find seven keys who were hidden by the Founding Fathers. These keys unlock Benjamin Franklin's greatest invention, a secret weapon to defend the country. They won't be easy to find as these keys are hidden by puzzles, riddles, and traps. 
also standing in their way is Gideon Arnold, a descendant of Benedict Arnold, who is a dangerous foe and has a crew of his own going after the keys. The last prompt is the Mad Hatter's Tea Party, which is joining Lexi, Kaylin, Gavin, and Jade for their live costume party. This will take place on Saturday, October 3rd at 11 p.m. UK time, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. During this live show, they will be going over the group pick. The group pick for this readathon is The Train to Impossible Places by P.G. Bell. In this book, a train crashes through Susie's living room. She ends up sneaking on board and is whisked away. Once on board this Postal Express, she is tasked with delivering a package. However, the package begs her not to deliver it, as it will put the entire union of impossible places at risk. While she struggles with what she should do, she finds out that protecting the package will put her friends at risk, which leaves her with a very difficult decision. I'm quite looking forward to reading all the books that I have picked out for this readathon. And I'm really looking forward to the live show where we go over the group book. As you can see, I have a lot of reading to get to in September, and those aren't even all the books that I hope to get to. So I guess we'll see how we do, and hopefully I will be able to get to them all. Let me know if you guys are participating in either of these readathons and what you are reading in the month of September. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!